Hello, this is Brian Resney, president of Resney Wealth Management. I'm bringing an important update about the economy and the investment market so you can understand what we see in the global landscape. You know, I've talked repeatedly over the last year or year and a half or so about recessions. And the U.S., of course, is not in a recession, and our research has been spot on. One of the things, last week we had a very slow jobs report, about 38,000 new jobs, which is really slow. And it goes back to what I've talked about repeatedly, which is it's policies and rules and regulations that the current administration has put in place that is really hampering better GDP growth in the United States. Our GDP gross domestic product, we should be growing between 3 and 4% a year. But we're not. And a lot of that is, again, from old policy, uh, from the administration, and at your government, of course, and of course, over rules and regulations, which have really ramped up in the last seven or eight years. This hurts small business development. It hurts hiring. While the economy is still on an uptrend, a slow uptrend, probably going to grow GDP this year somewhere around 2% or a little bit less, we should be doing better. So again, no recession currently. We do a lot of research on this on a regular basis. And if we need to get defensive and be uh, basically take risk off the table and be defensive in our client portfolio management, we'll do that and we'll, of course, let all of our clients know. But we're not seeing recession, garden variety, slow economic growth. And you have to remember, all these monthly numbers that come out, whether it's unemployment or inflation or growth in general, these are very volatile month by month numbers. So we typically look at kind of a three month average. It kind of will uh, smooth out some of these bumps in the road. But generally speaking, unemployment rates are going down slightly. Some of that because people are leaving the labor force, but the economy is doing better and it is growing. It's not in contraction. It is definitely not in recession but we need to start changing our policies so that we can actually grow. And remember, when you're growing around 2% GDP growth, you know, you have a lot of the issues you have today. There's not enough money to really go and pay all your bills, hence the big $19 trillion deficit we currently have. Um, but if you start growing the economy 3 to 4%, you have excess capital to start paying, of course, that deficit down. So these are all things that hopefully will be addressed in the November election. I am an optimistic person. And again, I've had a lot of clients ask me, Brian, if a Democrat gets in, what do you see happening with the economy? If a Republican gets in, what do you see happening? I'll be point blank. If, if a Democrat gets in, which would probably be Hillary Clinton, unless, of course, uh, she's indicted for a lot of the stuff that she's done, um, it's probably going to be the same policies Barack Obama's had for the last seven, eight years, meaning slow growth economy and over rules and regulations will probably grow the economy one and a half to two percent a year, maybe. If Trump gets in, which is probably going to be the likely candidate, um, the way that I look at it, it can't be any worse than what we've had in the last seven, eight years. So we'll grow the economy maybe 2%. If he enacts some of the things that he's talked about and he is decisive and really gets things done, maybe we push the GDP to 3 to 4%. And again, I'm not talking Democrat, Republican being political. I am trying to educate our clients and all of our listeners of our update video, generally speaking, how policy works. So bad policy hurts everybody. It hurts Democrats. It hurts Republicans. It hurts the poor. It hurts everybody. Um, Pro-growth policies, less government, less taxes, less rules and regulations help promote growth and ultimately help everybody. So that's kind of how I see it stack up. So either way, depending who gets in, probably a one and a half to two percent growth economy. If Trump gets in and he does some of the stuff he says he wants to do, maybe we grow the GDP uh, north of 3%, which would be a net positive, and we can start to pay down some of our bills and put some money away for that rainy day fund, as I've always talked. But I like what I'm seeing in the economy. I think the second half of this year is going to be better than the first half, and comparisons on earnings should start to get easier. So we should start to see earnings growth and expansion, hopefully, with corporate profits. We're optimistic, we're fully invested, we're not seeing signs of recession, but if that changes, we'll of course let our clients know, and we as a firm will, will take decisive action to adjust our portfolios accordingly. If you're a client and you have any questions, please call the office. If you're not a client, it is time you became a client of Resney Wealth Management. Have a safe and profitable day.